Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Infinity and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. In today's video, I am going to be doing a reading for our beautiful collective here on YouTube. So thank you so much for sharing your beautiful high vibrational energy with the channel today. We are all co-creators here, so simply by being present with this video, regardless of when or where you are tuning in from, know that your energy is is actively co-creating all of the messages and pieces of information that come through here. So I'm going to start with the Burning Heart Love Oracle. Right away, I got the words develop and slope. So with the word slope, I saw a mountain slope and it made me think of either hiking a mountain or skiing or snowboarding. So that may be resonant for someone listening. I'm also seeing a turtle. This could represent slow moving energy. I'm seeing the card come out here. I wish you were here with me. So this might be coming from someone who's on some kind of a trip or surrounded by some kind of beautiful scenery and thinking to themselves that they wish you were sharing this time with them. This could be reversed as well. So you might be the one on some kind of trip or somewhere beautiful thinking that you wish you were sharing it with this person. Either way, I'm getting that whether it's you thinking that or this person, they are definitely wanting to be with you at this time. We also have the card, I knew you were the one when I met you and I heard in my mind's eye from the moment I met you. So there's something being emphasized here about the meeting point between the two of you. There may have been very special circumstances around the way that you met or it may have just been that this is someone who feels as though they knew there was something special about you from the moment that they laid eyes on you. But somehow between the meeting point and now, there's been either some kind of obstacle or something that's happened between the two of you. And this person is saying, I want to make things right. So there is is regret but regret makes it kind of sound like they're sitting in that energy when actually the regret has lit a fire under them and motivated them to want to push this forward to want to make changes to make things right here i'm hearing unspoken so there might be certain things that both of you feel energetically and emotionally about the other or about the connection that go unspoken or that go unsaid, but that you both feel. I'm also getting something about the synchronicities in your communication. So for someone listening, when you're speaking to this person, you'll very often find that they will say something in answer to a question that you might have asked in your head or that you might have been wondering about. And then suddenly it's like you get a text from this person or you're on the phone with them and they happen to just answer your question without you asking. This also might be that they say something that you were thinking. There's just this very strong bond of synchronicity in your communication. Now, if you aren't actively in 3D communication with this person, you will still find that certain synchronicities and signs seem to surround your connection. Now, for some reason, I'm picking up that someone here might be feeling as though there is something or someone else that they have an obligation to. And it's almost like one connection feels or one choice feels like obligation. It feels like self-sacrifice. It feels heavy, but this person might be telling themselves it's the right thing to do or like 
Part of them wants to resign themselves to their fate. Now, this could be you or this could be this person's energy. I'm getting for many of you, it's this person. But again, it doesn't have to be them. It could be you. Maybe there's a path that you've been considering taking because you feel like you have to, not because your heart wants to, or you're feeling a sense of obligation. And for some reason, I'm hearing you've been freed from the contract. Like It's almost like your spirit guides are saying, if you're thinking about choosing something that you feel pressured into or you feel obligated to simply because it feels like an obligation you have to fulfill, but it doesn't really feel like what your soul desires at that pure core level, then know that spiritually speaking, you've been released from the burden. You've been released from some kind of contract or obligation here spiritually that you may have had in the past. I'm hearing you're getting the opportunity to wipe the slate clean and really go towards what your soul desires. I feel like someone might be clearing some blocks around shame and guilt for really allowing themselves to go after what they truly want at a soul level. I just keep getting the sense of someone trying to press something down, to push something down emotionally within themselves, to tell themselves, I shouldn't want that, or I shouldn't want to go in that direction, or I need to forget about that dream, or I need to forget about that person. But their soul keeps leading them back to it over and over again. And I'm hearing your soul will keep pointing you back home until you go, until you go back home, meaning until you start moving in that direction that brings you into a deeper alignment with your most authentic self. In essence, that's really your soul's blueprint calling you. It's so beautiful that as souls, we create this so-called blueprint for our lives, meaning this overarching picture of generally what we want our life to look like, what we want to do to create, who we want to connect with. And the closer we live in alignment with that blueprint, the more enlivened we feel, the more passionate we feel, the more fulfilled and happy we feel. But it's not that surface level happiness. This is a deep, deep happiness that I know many of you have started to touch on and come into recently. So you know what I'm talking about here. That's the kind of soul level happiness that comes from really living in alignment with your soul's blueprint, with what your soul came here to be and to express and to do. And it's not always going to make sense to the people around you. And I'm just picking up that for someone here, it's almost like there are certain choices or decisions or things you are contemplating in your life at the moment that feel like crossroads or feel like choosing between different things. And I am getting that cliche quote, when it's your calling, it will keep calling you. And that's how you'll know. So really there's no stress or pressure around quote unquote, making the right decision because If there are certain things that your soul is meant to do that you choose not to necessarily do right now, they will keep calling you. They're not going anywhere. Your dreams and goals are not going anywhere. In a sense, the person you are destined to be with is not going anywhere. If there's someone you are meant to connect with, it's like that love quote, if you love something, set it free. And if it comes back, it's yours. And really within soul connections, there's a lot of truth to that because that setting it free represents surrender. And so often when we surrender, we can actually release ourselves from the mind fog, the conscious fog in our mind that often just gets in the way. We remove all of that and we're actually able to more clearly see in that surrender, in that freedom what is truly aligned with us at the soul level. I don't know why this whole download is coming through. This might be relating to your own life, your own life purpose or path or a calling that you have, a passion you have. This may be a person in your life. And again, if you are trying to force yourself to make a decision out of obligation or guilt rather than from a place of love and freedom and passion, know that You are allowed and you have the free will to make whatever choice feels right to you, to make whatever choice you feel you need to make. 
but take comfort in knowing that if you make a choice that isn't necessarily in alignment with your soul, that's okay because the right choice will keep representing itself. Your calling will keep calling you back. Those correct relationships will keep calling you back. You will know because they have this beautifully synced cyclical, that's the word I was looking for, nature to them, where you can never get too far away from yourself or from what's meant for you. It's like a tether. It will always call you back. It will always beckon you back in. And eventually you'll be able to clearly hear and follow that calling, that feeling, that pull. So again, this could relate to you. This could relate to someone that you're connected to. I do have to say that this person coming up that's connected to you is giving me the card. I know that we have a soul connection. That's a pretty clear card. This is someone who has, I have to say, this is a specific person who has thought the word soulmate or thought the words soul connection. This is someone who, even if they're not inherently spiritual, it has struck them consciously that the two of you must have some kind of soul connection because nothing else makes sense is what I'm hearing this person say here. And at the bottom of the deck, we have, I'm ready for commitment. So that actually might be a message that surprises some of you. Maybe you've been unsure whether this person is really ready to commit to this but they're coming up very clearly. Maybe this is a card they've been holding close to their chest symbolically because it was at the bottom of the deck. So they might not be fully out and open about this, but this is someone who, whether they are sharing it with you or not, they are feeling very ready. I'm hearing I've been ready. Like this is someone who they're trying not to act too fast on this, but it's almost like they can't help themselves. They are feeling so drawn to you. And there is a masculine here who's noticed in their mind as well. I have to say, I've been saying masculine at least once or twice, and I didn't mean to because the labels divine masculine and divine feminine hadn't come up yet in the reading, but since that kind of slipped through there, and I don't believe in coincidences or accidents, I'd say it's very likely that many of you resonate with the feminine energy and for many of you, this person is a masculine or divine masculine. I'm also hearing this is someone who has walked away from people, things, or obstacles that may have stood between the two of you. That's why they're saying I'm ready because this person walked away from things that may have presented themselves as obstacles between you in the past. It's like they've made themselves ready. They've made their life ready to have you in it. And they're not afraid anymore with anxiety reverse because their love for you is so overpowering that it's actually overwhelming their fears. It's overpowering the fears that they may have had. I got the word freckles for some reason. Maybe someone has freckles here. I also got the word rod. This could be short for Rodney for someone. This also could be a fishing rod. I got the name Sally as well. With the patience card and storm warning reversed. This person has realized over time that one of the things they find the most unique about their connection with you is the level of deep peace it brings them. Like it just sits right with them. Connecting with you, having you in their life just feels right. There's such a warmth and a peace about this connection. And with woman holding a heart upright, you really are the only one holding this person's heart, dominating their thoughts at this time, they already feel committed to you regardless of the status of your physical 3D relationship. This is someone who feels very exclusive to you. I'm also hearing they talk about you quite a bit with the people around them, with either their family or their friends, but it's almost like they can't help it. Like it just slips out when they're in conversation with people. This is because they just adore and admire you so much that whenever they're in conversation, somehow the conversation so often seems to turn back to you. I'm hearing they brag about you like they 
talk about the things that they really like about you. And they always seem to get really excited and passionate and like their face lights up when they're talking about you. And that's really something that people who know this person really well have picked up on. They've noticed that whenever they talk about you, they literally just light up and people around them have never seen any other person have that kind of effect on them before. So people around them are aware that there's something very special and very different about this connection. So I'm going to pull a few more cards here, but while I'm shuffling, I also want to share with you that if you would like an additional tool to really help you continue to stay in a clear, high vibrational, magnetic space, because I do see that so much of your connection with this person is soul-based, it is energy-based. So whenever you are in that high vibrational, clear space yourself, you are able to more easily harmonize with them and attract more positive interaction with this person. So if you would like a tool for that kind of energy work, I've created a subliminal meditation called love magnetism that would be really aligned with this situation. So this subliminal contains affirmations directed to each of the seven chakra centers. And the beautiful thing about subliminal specifically is that the affirmations in them are targeted to the subconscious mind as opposed to the conscious mind. So they're able to bypass the conscious mind and basically reprogram your subconscious mind, which is really 95% of your energy field with these positive magnetic affirmations that really do entirely alter your energy. And in the case of this love magnetism subliminal, I've noticed that in using this on a daily basis, I tend to just be able to almost viscerally feel that magnetism, to feel that magnetic effect, especially when I'm interacting with other people. It isn't even just exclusive to love and relationship. This can really be used to generally help you to attract more positive opportunities, connection points, interactions, people, and things into your life. So this subliminal comes from my subliminals app, Sound and Soulful. What I'm showing you now on the screen is just a little bit about the app. I have recently launched it. I've been working on it for a few years, and I'm so excited to be sharing it with all of you. Because on this app, I have created over 130 subliminals for so many different areas of life. And in my app, when you sign up for a seven day free trial, you can create your own custom private playlists. You can even loop the playlist to listen overnight while you're asleep or throughout the day. You can also read the affirmations while you are listening. And there are 10 different background sound options for every single subliminal as well. So the link to download my app and sign up for a seven day free trial is in the pinned comment and description box underneath this video. With all tied up in the reverse position, I see some kind of stuck energy breaking loose here. It's almost like this person's throat chakra energy was stuck where They were stuck on how to communicate with you, what to say to you, how to communicate themselves. But I see that that's really breaking free. Once again, the love is overpowering the fear here. That's really one of the strongest messages coming through. This person really feels like they're in it for the long haul with sacred journey, understand who you truly are. This journey brings self-discovery. And also with the card potential, we have fulfillment, risk, achievement. Your potential is limitless. So this person feels this sense of limitlessness around you. That is because there is a very high level soulmate connection or a twin flame connection between the two of you. So it is as though when you're together, you can sense that you are able to connect on an unlimited number of potential timelines, that this is someone who can travel with you through timelines and dimensions because you are connected 
at a much deeper layer than the superficial because you are connected at the soul. This person also feels deeply empowered to their own highest potential when they're around you. They really feel like they could just conquer the world. With the journal card, I heard something about writing a letter. This person might want to write with you or write a letter to you. It also may be that this person has spent a lot of time maybe not literally writing. For some of them, it might be literal journaling. For others of them, they've been processing, contemplating, sorting through or organizing their feelings about you and about this journey. And the conclusion, again, that they've come to is... I'm ready for commitment that this is a soul connection and I now clearly recognize that this is a bit of a rare reading because it's rare that we bring forth an energy of someone who just seems so clear about you, so ready. I mean, for some of you, this might be someone you haven't met yet in this physical lifetime that just immediately recognizes there's a bond between you and feels ready. But for others of you, this may be someone you've been connecting with for some time. Only you will know how this resonates. I'm getting fiery energy, so it's possible that this person is a fire sign or has fire sign energy in their birth chart. But I do want to close the reading here with one final Rumi Oracle card, and this is Passion of the Wild Red Mother. The guidebook here says, this oracle comes to you with a message. It is a big cosmic yes. It is also an invitation to let go of suffering and struggle, not with regret or shame, but with gentle acknowledgement that it has had its purpose. It now has a bigger purpose, that of passion, which calls you to engage in the embrace of life with more abandon than ever before. Now is the time to let go of belief systems and needing to know anything. It is the time to trust in the beating of your own heart and in the people, places, and experiences that truly move you, whether it makes sense or appears to be logical or not. So that feels like a beautiful place to close the reading. Thank you so much again for tuning in today. If my energy resonates with you, I invite you to subscribe to the channel, join our beautiful community of like-minded, conscious, creative beings here on YouTube. You can also follow me on Instagram at magnetize yourself. And of course, if you feel guided to download my subliminals app and try them out by signing up for a seven day free trial account, the link to do so is in the pinned comment and description box underneath the video. I am sending you all so much love and light energy today. Have a beautiful day and I will connect with you again in the next video.